315 meters long and as tall as an 18-floor building, the MSC Meraviglia cruise ship stands as a towering example in the modern shipping industry. Weighing 80,000 tons, heavier than 8,000 African elephants, this cruise ship presents a sight akin to a small village floating on the sea. It's entirely self-sufficient, capable of accommodating 7,000 people for several weeks without them feeling the lack of anything. It has 2,500 luxury suites, casinos, fitness centers, open terraces, pools, water parks, dance floors, restaurants, and even a full shopping mall inside. The construction of this ship took a total of 1 billion US dollars. This would not have been possible without the day and night efforts of 450 engineers and thousands of workers. The shipping company MSC awarded the contract for the design and construction of this ship to a French company. Their requirement was to have a cruise ship that would surpass all others in stability. A ship that, when in motion, would have no vibration, a mechanism to prevent seasickness or motion sickness for those on board. And most importantly, MSC needed this entire cruise ship within four years. If the deadline was exceeded by even a day, the construction company would have to pay a fine of 100,000 euros per day. But the question is, how was this possible in such a short time? STX France, who were tasked with this Herculean challenge of constructing the steel mountain, faced several challenges during the construction. Some features were being attempted for the first time in the shipping industry. Out of the four-year deadline, two years were spent just on planning and designing the Meraviglia. Its construction officially began in 2015, while it was supposed to be delivered in 2016. Thousands of steel sheets were ordered for the 150 hectares large Saint Nazaire shipyard. Which part of the 315 meter long cruise ship would be how large and what shape it would have? These designs were ready beforehand. Now, they just had to be cut, which was the most precision demanding task. For this, a robotic arm was used. During this process, they had to cut as many pieces as possible from one sheet to minimize the wastage of steel sheets. This task required such accuracy that doing it by hand was impossible. Even a millimeter difference in a single piece could waste the efforts of two years. To build the Meraviglia, a total of 300,000 pieces were needed, all of different shapes. These pieces had to be welded to form very complex parts. As for the bulbous bow, which marine engineers also call a bulb, it is placed at the very front end of large ships. It helps in cutting through the water during a cruise. Without the bulbous bow, ships would face more drag, and more drag means more fuel consumption. Apart from the bulbous bow, constructing the ship's hull is also a very complicated task. It's the main body that keeps the ship, weighing millions of tons, afloat in the water. The design and shape of the hull are very important because it reacts differently in different seas. With the help of software, 150 hull designs were created, and then each one was tested on a simulator. All this testing was done on a dummy ship, equipped with sensors in various places. The effects of water forces on the ship at different speeds were tested, and after all the testing, the most stable hull was selected. Now, it was the turn of the most important part of Meraviglia, the propellers. These 20-meter-high steel giants have the power to move an 80,000-ton cruise ship, each one is about the size of a double-story building and weighs more than an Airbus A320. These electric motors generate a total power equivalent to 40 million watts, which is enough to run 35,000 1.5-ton air conditioners. These engines were specially designed to not produce any kind of vibrations, and if they do, they are equipped with special vibration damping material. Engineers claim that the Meraviglia is free from all kinds of vibrations. Even at its top speed of 22.7 knots, or 42 km per hour, passengers inside feel as if they are sitting in a five-star hotel in the middle of the sea. Talking about the electricity requirements of MSC Meraviglia, it was decided to install a full power station. This is like a floating village where 7,000 people can stay for at least seven days. 2,500 luxury suites, casinos, theaters, and other luxury facilities consume a lot of electricity. This power station consists of four large diesel generators that produce 11,000 volts of current. After fulfilling the engine's supply, the voltage is brought down to 230 volts using transformers so that passengers can use it. To distribute electricity throughout the ship, the total length of the wiring done on Meraviglia 
is 1500 kilometers. Since it is a giant ship, it was not possible to construct it in one piece. To meet the deadline, engineers constructed different modules separately. Then it was time for assembly, i.e. lifting and fitting all the modules on top of each other. It was like solving a giant puzzle. With the help of a 5,000 ton crane, the assembly work began, and it was very important to place each module with extreme accuracy. It took a full nine months to fit all the modules on top of each other and to form the shape of the ship. Cruise ships are normally used by people to spend their vacations, and it takes at least a week for them to reach their destination. Accommodating 7,000 passengers on Meraviglia and meeting their water requirements was going to be a very difficult task. Fresh water is not only used for drinking but also for pools, showers, and cooking. It is estimated that on the ship, one person uses 200 cubic meters of water daily. So, if there are 7,000 passengers, that's 14 lakh cubic meters of water, daily. No ship can store that much water, so to tackle this issue, onboard desalination plants are installed. Seawater is heated to convert it into steam, separating the salts from the water. In the case of Meraviglia, a mechanism was created to use the heat from the engine to warm the water. The heat, which otherwise would not be of any use, was utilized to create a fuel-efficient system. Not only this, but for the comfort of passengers and to meet MSC's requirements, stabilizers were also introduced for the first time in Meraviglia. During sea voyages, ships continuously roll. This movement causes nausea and dizziness in many passengers. This condition is known as seasickness or motion sickness. To address this issue, stabilizers were installed on Meraviglia. As soon as the ship leaves the port, these stabilizers extend out and gain significant control over the vessel's rolling movement. They are a kind of automatic shock absorbers, which were very much needed at the time. After the complete assembly of the ship, it was time to launch it into the water for the first time. The assembly dock was filled with water, and Meraviglia was taken out of the dock for testing. After checking the engines, power generation, safety systems, and for leakages, Meraviglia was deemed fit for finishing. Speaking of interior design, Meraviglia features a 315 FT long seafront shopping mall, restaurants, cafes, and a public space for relaxation named Galleria Meraviglia. There's a horizon pool, which converts into a dance floor at night. The ship also has a cinema, spa, gym, yacht club, 2500 super luxury suites, a bowling alley, and F1 simulator facilities. After completing all the finishing and decoration work, STX delivered this masterpiece to MSC ahead of schedule, fulfilling their final challenge. MSC Meraviglia is nothing less than a role model for the modern shipping industry. Since June 3, 2017, this engineering masterpiece has been in service, and it costs $600 to travel for just one day on it.